In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to take you shopping with me. We're going to hit the thrift stores and we're going to find some really great finds. Along the way, we also find someone who's very rude. I still can't believe what she did. So come on and let's dive into this week's episode. I can't wait to tell you all about it. One quick note before we get started though. If you're new to Flea Market Rescue, I just want to welcome you. My name's Kelly Sherry. I do thrift store makeovers with my funny pal, Jenny. I also love taking you along as we go to the thrift stores, the garage sales, and the flea markets. So if you're up for some fun DIY projects and great shopping sprees, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Well, you guys, I have to tell you, things have been so crazy. On Friday, I was driving to work when I got a call saying that my father had fallen down the steps and that he would need to be taken to the hospital in an ambulance. So I rushed over there, and unfortunately, I had to close my store because it was a family emergency. He ended up breaking his femur, and he had to have surgery. We now have him in a rehab, and things have kind of calmed down since then. So on my way home from one of our visits... I passed right by the Salvation Army in Romeo. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop here today. Now, I haven't been there in a while, so I was pretty excited to see what I might find. They had a lot of great Christmas stuff, but I've been really trying to find more everyday kind of stuff because in less than three weeks, I have to transform my whole store and put away Christmas. But it doesn't hurt to look, right? Wow, they have the trees, don't they? My, oh my, look at those eyes. Wow, that's really a beautiful flock tree. Look how fluffy it is. Hmm, let's keep moving. Oh, look, there's some blocks. Remember what Jenny and I did with those blocks in the trash to treasure? They came out so stinking cute. We did one reindeer and one s'more snowman. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check out that episode. I'm not quite sure how much these are, but if they're not too much, we'll get them. Oh, I might need to get this. I really like it. All right, I'm thinking I need this cow. You know, these cutouts, whether they're a rooster, a cow, a pig, they really go. And at $2.99, why not? I'm really loving this little house. I don't know if I would use it for spices, but it's really cute. Now this is really cool. I think I'm gonna have to get it. It's $5.99, that's not too bad. Oh, check out this drawer, you guys. The front is perfect. I love the aged look of it. Heck yeah, it is. Look at these crazy things. Anyone need a pair of coconut heads? The birds on these are really pretty. This is a really nice enamel cookie canister. And at $4.99, I think that's a really good price. Now these kind of things really freak me out because it's like with somebody's ashes in these, I won't buy them. Oh, look at that, a big C. You could write Christmas on the wall with some random letters. I like this metal arch. Let's take a better look at it here. 
Oh yeah, that is nice. We're going to get this. It's only $5.99 too, you guys. The black paint on the front is just poorly done, but I, I like the look of this if it was done a little better. That's a definite no. This is kind of cool, Hope. If you had a little shop by the water, this would be really good with your nautical kind of stuff. These canisters are really unusual, but I don't like the fact that they're triangle because it's just odd. Oh my gosh, where's my mom? She would just be buying all this up. Hmm, I don't know what to make out of this. In one way, I think he's cute. Another way, I think he's weird. I don't know. Yeah, he's weird and he's too much. But this little cutie is not weird. Oh my gosh, look how cute. I have to get this. I'm just thinking like Easter, you know, you put like a white napkin in there and put your rolls. I don't know. I like the little jugs with the jute. I hate the flower. This one's a little over the top with too much crackle, but I like this one. See, I really like the color of this wood and it has really nice detail to it. I'm just thinking along the lines of spring, but this is a bank, so I don't know if this would be a good seller or not. Here's another really ornate candlestick. I prefer them to be more of a neutral color because when you have a specific color, you have to wait for someone who really loves that color. I like when Christmas items have that woodsy kind of look to them. All right, you guys, don't laugh, but I have been looking at this reindeer on Pinterest and thinking, oh, how cute that is, but I thought it was really expensive. And here it is. Someone was selling these for $35 a pair. Where's the other one? All right, so I didn't find another one of these, so maybe it was sold or I don't know, but I'm getting this one for sure. Oh, these are cute. People love reindeers. They're really popular. This is a cute house. Don't ask me why I'm in the Christmas aisle. I don't need any more Christmas. I really don't. Oh, these are beautiful. And there are two for $3.99. All right, so we have some cute stuff here. I'm really excited about that metal reindeer, though. Call me crazy. Oh, darn, you got a broken tail. Well, this is interesting, sort of industrial. I don't know if it has the look though. And eh, just a little too clunky. But these whales are cute. I could see that in the kid's room with like the book Moby Dick. I'm always looking for black and white pillows, black and white throws. They are really good sellers. These little knobby things look kind of dirty and the yarn's kind of coming apart too. We're gonna put this back. This is a really cute table and chairs, and it's only $9.99 for the set.
Wow, look at this table and chairs. I like the argyle pattern too on the chairs. I think the seat covers need to be redone, but other than that, I think this is a really nice set. So as I was leaving up at the checkout, this was just sitting there, so I had to take a look at that. It really is a pretty wreath. I like the greens and the grays. They also have these white snowflake salt and pepper shakers too up there. Now, I needed another tree, like I needed another hole in my head, but this flock tree I couldn't stop thinking of. And then when I was at the register, the woman said whenever they get flock trees, they're gone the same day. So that just kind of sealed the deal. I had to buy it. My next stop was the Salvation Army in Rochester, Michigan. Oh yeah, I'm not going home yet. We're making a night out of it. Just sold one like this. What is this here? This looks really cool if I can get it out. It looks like a G. Yep, it's a G. This is really cool. I like that. I wish they had an S. I gotta look at this too. This is only $1.99, you guys. Come on now. Here's some more blocks, you guys. $5.99 each. Are they nuts? That's a lot. Eh, no. Oh, I really like these. They're $2.99, that's not too bad. I don't see anything on this. Why does this have to have some grapes on it? If it was just by itself, it would look great. But with grapes, I gotta pass. I don't like anything with grapes on it. I think it's because the fact that you can't hide that it's dated. No matter if you paint it or not, the grapes are the dead giveaway that it's from the 80s. Now if that bucket didn't have grapes, I'd buy that and these right here. These would be the perfect pair. Just add a few berries and it would just look awesome. If you guys remember back in fall, I bought some Ray Dunn mugs and I was so excited about them, I didn't check for chips. And sure enough, there was chips. Not on this one, so we're gonna get it. Look at this little cutie patootie. Oh, you know what I'm gonna put in there. I'm gonna put one of those bristle trees. I'm looking at this bird and I'm like, okay, I love the gray. I love the age look. But then I'm like, does it look dirty? So I don't know. I kind of tossed back and forth about getting this one. And what is that stuck to the bottom? I was really excited about this cloche till I got up close and realized it had writing on it. If it didn't have any writing, what I would do is I'd probably put a bristle tree in there, maybe some reindeer, snow. You can make a whole winter scene. But this one has writing, and I would prefer mine to have nothing on it. I know, you guys, I don't need to be looking at any of this stuff, but that one pumpkin looks like the one we used in the Trash to Treasure project. All right, now that I look at it, it is a little different, but they both have that happy expression on their face. Those are two really nice pumpkins in the back there. We actually had one of these mercury glass pumpkins and we put it on a mercury glass candlestick and it looks so cool. It's sold of course, but that's just a really nice combination. Just so you guys know, it looks really fancy. I just want to take a look at these real quick. I like the font on this. Ooh, that one's really beat up. All right, let's mosey on out of here. 
I love scales. I actually have one of these at the shop, but I'm going to see how much this one is. $29.99. You're not going to make any money on this. So unless you're going to get this for personal use, I wouldn't buy this. All right, so we found a few things here, but not a whole lot. Let's go ahead and head to Utica. The first thing I came across were these, and I thought these were really pretty. I thought this was really cool until I picked it up, and then when I looked at like the numbers and stuff, it looked like it was just printed on some paper, and it almost had a blue tinge to it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look out. It's a dress form. You don't even need to ask. It's already in my cart. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. It is the cutest planner ever. It's $10, but I think it's so worth it. Look at the little birds. You know where this is going? Straight in my basket. This kind of reminds me of the tree that Debbie had in her bathroom during Christmas last year. Doesn't it sort of look like that if it was painted white and had a few different ornaments? Speaking of Debbie, next week we're going out, we're going to go thrifting, and then I'm just going to go ahead and show you how she decorated for this year. So make sure to look for that video next week. I really like this galvanized wheelbarrow. It's $13.95, which I don't really think is a bad price at all. Oh wait, but what do we have here? I almost overlooked this. It's really cute, but I'm not seeing a price at all on this. This here is from Joann's, and I remember paying $4.99 for this little pine seedling, so I'm going to get this. This is kind of cute. This is kind of funny. Don't know if it would actually sell, but it's kind of cute. These probably would look cute under one of those small cloches. I'm kind of drawn to this. It looks really elegant. This looks like it got stuck underneath a basket and was drug across the floor. It looks dirty. Oh, I love this. Look at the scallop. I like the saying, and the wood is just right on point. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to get this. I know this is a little more on the expensive side, but I definitely can make money on it. I've actually picked up a few of these here. Um, of course, they haven't had the home on there, but this is $7.99. I'm used to getting them for about $4.99, and for that reason, I think we're going to pass. This is kind of interesting. I'm not really loving the burlap bow. I kind of wish that chalkboard would be centered in the middle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Okay, I realize I have it upside down, but look at this. This is so perfect. Love, love, love this. The barn wood is absolutely fabulous. Such a nice choice for a ribbon, and also I love the fencing behind there. It's only $5.99, and I just love, love, love this. We're going to get it. I really like this bird. I love how it's kind of carved and it has the white in it. What is this, like a fish kind of clipboard? I don't know, or do they really use it for fish? I don't get it. This is really pretty. I probably would repaint this, however, like one solid color, distress it up a bit, and it would really act as a good riser. You could have some things on your dresser, you could have some things on top of this, and it would just give it the added extra height that you need to display stuff. Oh, that starfish is crazy cool. If you were in Florida, it'd be perfect. The metal looks like it's almost aged. I really like that. What do we have back here in the mystery bag? Oh. It's metal ornament bulbs. Oh my gosh, this whole bag is $2.99. Are you kidding me? $2.99. We're going to grab these. This is a really cool pail with handles. I love the look of the metal. And at $4.99, I don't think that's a bad price. I just picked up a train not too long ago just like this, and it sold right away. So I'm going to pick up this one. 
I know this is $7.99, however, this is a large metal tray, and I probably can get about $18 for it. What is this? This is really cool. Oh my gosh, it's a bread box. I have to get this because this is very unusual. It's brand new. It still has the tags on it. This is going to sell really fast. This is a cute canister. I might get this. Oh wow, you could totally make this into a scale. This is a really cool planner. It reminds me of something I would see on Etsy. All you need is a little string of the greenery pearls hanging down and it would look awesome. Oh my gosh, look at all these deers, I love them. These would be perfect underneath a large cloche. You could do such a cute winter scene. You could add snow, bristle trees. And it was at this very point when I was getting ready to grab the larger deer, a woman came from over my shoulder and grabbed them and said, oh, my son would like these and took them and put them in her basket. I was shocked. I couldn't believe that she did that. You'll faintly be able to hear her. And I ended up shutting the camera off because I was so stunned. I'll play it again in case you missed that. That was so incredibly rude. When my mom and I spot something and somebody else is looking at it, we wait for them to walk away and then we grab it. For her to just take it while I was looking at it was just so incredibly rude. I couldn't even believe it. Even Jesus saw you, lady. It was like taking candy from a baby, wasn't it? I called my mom immediately after this, and she's like, oh, if I had been there, those deers would have been in your basket. <laughs> mom, I need you to hurry up and get well. All right, we're going to just kind of move on here, even though I'm still in disbelief. He's a little cutie patootie, isn't he? But again, I really need to focus less on the Christmas stuff because in less than three and a half weeks, I am going to be putting it all away. This is kind of a nice planner. I like it, but it's $6.99. I think that's just a little bit high. I was looking for maybe like $4.99. Oh, look, you guys. Look at this rooster. He's kind of cool, right? And he's only $4.99, so that's not bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this one here. I could paint this one silver or I could paint it white. I think this one could be a really good seller. Oh, look, you guys, another Ray Dunn piece here hiding in the corner. Yeah, I think we might need to get this one. It's only $4.99 and we're going to need it for spring. Oh, look at this here. I kind of like this. Oh my gosh, look, you guys, there's the woman with the deer in her basket. I hope she doesn't like this too. She just might rip it out of my hands. I still can't get over that. That's just so rude. Oh, I'm loving this owl. This owl is really cute. I'm going to get this. We got some great stuff. And did you guys notice? I got the little one. That's only because I put my hand back on it as soon as I noticed what she was doing. Well, I'm happy with all the things that I found. So let's go ahead and make our way to the checkout. Oh, wait. Hold up, you guys. Oh, look at this bird. I love it. We're going to have to get this, too. I see that odd cage with the lily pad sticking out is still here. Surprise, surprise. Well, I think we did pretty darn good here. We're going to make one last stop, and that's at the St. Vincent de Paul's. It's just right around the corner. Whenever you come across any kind of corbel, pick it up. I have people asking me, can you find some corbels for me? Whenever I put them in the store, they're gone. So these are a really hot ticket item. I'm probably going to paint these with chalk paint just to give them an even richer look because these look all right, but they could look better. Now, although I think this is really cute, I'm just really not sure how many people would be interested in something like this. So for that reason, I'm going to pass on it. I really like this candlestick. I think the top needs to be sanded a bit, but at $2.99, I think it's the perfect price. Although this is really cute, it's $2.99. Really, this should be about 99 cents, so we're not going to get this. This coffee canister is absolutely beautiful. And at $3.99, I can hardly get it in the basket fast enough. Oh, you know who would love this. Yep, my mom. I have to say, you guys, she's doing a lot better. That chemo is really working for her. 
She has just a couple more treatments and we're hoping by spring she'll be back thrifting with us. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these reindeers. Oh, I better look around me, make sure there's no one here ready to steal them from me. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh my gosh, these are even better, see? It's sort of like when we had our stuff on consignment at Colette's and they ended up closing and then we had to move all our stuff out and I always knew that, you know, something better would be in store and we ended up getting a store. And the same thing with the reindeers. I was really upset at the last store that that woman had done that. But look at, God had something better in store for me. Look at these. These are just grand. So whenever you're discouraged or you're upset about something that might have not happened, just know that God has something better in store for you too. Oh, I really like these angels. I probably would paint them cement. Oh, never mind. He has a broken wing. But if he didn't have a broken wing, I definitely would be painting these like cement. We have sold so many of these. However, this one is dented up, so we're going to pass on it. Ew, what is that, blood? Oh, and it even has a mother goose decal on it. Yeah, we're just going to pass. These canisters will look awesome with one of my transfer decals on them. Oh, these are all right, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I really like them or not. But this little guy right here, I think I'm going to need him. Yeah, I'm going to buy this one. I like him. Well, that's it, you guys, for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.